Merida's hair was seen as a character on its own, as an extension of what she is. Every single hair parameter was randomized slightly, so each hair has its unique way of moving and interacting with other hair. We set up a lot of simulation rigs so the hair can behave nicely with any kind of motion, from very slow shot to very active sequence, but it still needs to look pleasing to the eye. The look of hair is one of the more difficult things to get right in computer graphics because of its complex scatter and transmission of light. For Meredith's hair, a combination of both subsurface scattering and colored shadows were used to achieve its soft translucency. While shading Meredith's dress, we paid extra attention to how satin reflects and scatters light through the individual microfibers of the weave. Specular color shaping was used to smoothly blend from a pale primary highlight into a more saturated and wider secondary highlight. When you're doing a, a character that needs to remain beautiful but have a broad range of motion, you really want to pay close attention to the little imperfections that you might find while looking at the low res of the mesh. And we also want to pay close attention to the render version of Merida and make sure that the subtle stretching that you're doing in the articulation isn't going to compromise the shading. Getting a bead on Merida's character performance was difficult at first. One of the things we tried to hone in on was her feeling of abandonment and the pain behind her stubbornness. With Brave's animation being a more realistic style, I found I really benefited from live action reference as well as tapings of recording sessions. This whole marriage is what you want! Do you ever bother to ask what I want? No! This sequence was a real milestone for us in terms of performance and set a bar to which we could measure the rest of the film.